God has cursed me to see what life should be like. I mean, when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's, it's, it's for us to go farther. My name is Charles Loma, I'm a garage barber and I'm also a youth worker and I run a business out of my garage here at home in Blacktown. When I hit my teen years, I really grew a deep love for R&B and hip hop music. Probably the first album that kicked it all off was the Bobby Brown album and that album had a lot to do with his haircut as well, to boys to men, to uh, kid and play and it just kept on going. And I. I just love the hairstyles. Now that piece is such an iconic part of barber history. My cousin, when he moved over from New Zealand, he would start cutting his brother's hair in the backyard and that was probably the first time I seen those urban style cuts being actually done. And I ended up always practicing and cutting my friends or my cousin's hair. And it's important too when you're cutting hair to keep on brushing hair off. I've been working full time in the youth work industry for some years but um, my wife and my children had expressed that um, they felt that a lot of my time was being dedicated to others outside our household. So what I decided to do was to stop working full time and start looking at other avenues where it could afford me more to quality time with my family. Have a guess where you think barbering started? Where do you think it started? <laughs> <laughs> I went up and saw one of my friends who owns a salon and asked him if he could help me purchase a pair of professional barber clippers. And so I have to cut me and my son's hair from home. And then uh, this boy asked his mum if I could cut his hair. So she brought him over, I cut his hair, and then another person saw that and asked if I could cut their hair and it just went from one to another and started generating. And so I was just cutting people's hair for free from home. And then after six months, uh, a few of the customers said to me, we don't want you to uh, be working for free, you know. Maybe you should consider this as a career. So four years ago, I decided to start. Consider myself a, a beginner in this industry, but I'm loving it every every step of the journey. So as you can see there, all the way around, I've set the guideline. Okay, and we're done. <laughs> <laughs> the boys, the original five, they call themselves. Manu, he came to the program with a bit of experience already because his older brother is a professional barber. He was really driven in his music career but also wanted to pursue barbering. So when he came on the program, being the oldest, he was a young father already, he was already working a full-time job. So he finished work and he'd come straight from there to the barber shop. Jaden came into the program, he's a real joker. Jaden's a real joker, so he makes a lot of lighthearted fun out of a lot of things, but he's very sure of who he is. He'd be the type that if someone said something that he thought wasn't cool, he'd actually say, nah, that's not cool. Uh, he's just happy and he's content with who he is and he knows who he is. Sione, young Sione, he's the baby of the group. I think he was just trying to find his place. Just the fact that he jumped on the program, that said a lot about Sione right from the get-go. He was going through some things in his personal life, but um, when he put his hands on the tools, I seen the laser focus in his eyes. Kiko has got a lovely nature about him. He's not an attention seeker and he's not the type that stands out in the group. But once he jumped on his tools, I realized, wow. He'll sit quietly and just watch, but he's soaking up the information. <laughs> Rua is funny as, but he's a real people's person. The type of person you could drop in the middle of a pool of people and he'll get along with everyone in the house. Just because he doesn't act serious, it doesn't mean he's not taking it seriously. He's the type of guy who likes to do things and he likes to do it with while having fun. And that's just who Rua is. Over to my friend over here. He's got a very good fake. I'll pay for it. Take the two different eyebrows. <laughs> I think in the first four weeks, the boys got to understand that barbering looks easier than it actually is. You know, we spent the first four weeks really 
helping them to understand the fundamentals of how you present yourself you know how you how you put yourself out there is how people will, will actually treat you the importance of safety safety for yourself safety for your customer a cleanliness at all times there were a lot of nerves in the in, in the first four workshops but the beautiful thing was because that brotherhood gelled pretty fast it turned quickly from nerves to one another and supporting each other now we found the first four weeks it was really more learning about the craft of barbering the focus on the skills and at the same time it was more about building that foundation the focus was more about helping these young guys learn uh, how to practice the craft but in a professional manner I like it because of the fades because I've wasted it because I want to be a bubble too Oh, I'm just gonna go like this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>